what's going on guys welcome back to another video today we are doing a crazy redstone house boys it the sun is going down the redstone house is here this redstone house is massive but before we get into this video i just want to say i do have merchandise it's raining because this merch is selling like minecraft dog that didn't even make sense but guys i do have new merchandise on my store if you want to go check it out be sure to check out there's a link in the description and we have very limited amount of these shirts we probably have about a hundred of each color so they are selling pretty quickly if you do want to pick one up we got these green ones we got black ones uh red ones as well a bunch of different colors hats everything you name it i'm just letting you guys know if you want to pick up some merchandise link in the description but with that being said the weather is clearing up and let's go ahead and head on to this massive redstone pocket edition mansion so welcome to my redstone smart house made by chris chris thank you for the amazing redstone house some of these redstone contraptions might glitch if this happens leave the world and rejoin yes sir have fun and share this build with your friends then we got a weird kind of face i don't know what that is that's like me when i use the toilet anyways uh so this is i guess a map of the house looking pretty nice so it looks like we're about right there and then the house is right there and then it looks like we got like a not sure what that is not really sure what that is it's another part of the house and there's like a village but anyways let's go ahead and head up here see what we got oh there's a pretty horse that's actually a really pretty horse okay so this massive house has some really really cool contraptions what is this automatic farm oh so that's what that thing is it's an automatic farm and then the house we're gonna check out the house first and then we'll go check out the automatic farm but let's go ahead and head up to the house all right so this is the entrance right here pretty fancy entrance you can actually do outdoor lights and open and close the gate. So if we close the gate, it just kind of comes up like that and you can't really get over it. And then you can also turn on the outdoor lights, which I'm not really sure what that is. Bear with me, guys. I haven't checked out this house before. So it's kind of like, you know, we're looking at it together for the first time. Oh, it's these lights right here. We're looking at everything together for the first time. That's pretty sick. Look at that. So it turns on all the lights around the property. Uh, we'll leave those off for now. You know, I want to save some energy. And then over here, Welcome to my smart house. Press button to turn on and off the fountain. Oh, that's sick. So there's like a dispenser up there. The dispenser's the water. You just press that and it turns the fountain on and off. We're going to leave the fountain on because it's healthy for all the birds. Well, let's go ahead and head inside the house. So what do we got in here? Ooh, I like this ceiling. All the redstone, a ton of lighting over here. Press button for some food. This may not work the first time you press the button. Just press it again. Food. Oh, it did work. Oh, it's kind of like stuck in the it's like stuck in the okay So food comes out of the coffee table. We got some golden apples. I, I, I think this thing is like a massive TV I don't think those buttons do anything probably turns on and off the TV But let's see if there's actually anything hidden behind here You never know with these sneaky redstone creators knowing them. There's probably something hidden, but that's pretty nice very nice and beautiful beautiful living room Oh, wow. It's so spacious in here simple enchanting room Pretty nice. What is this? Oh, wait, was that chest there before? That chest was not there before. So it opens up a nice little chest. Oh, and we got some stuff to enchant with. So I can enchant like my sword and stuff, really whatever I want. Let's see. Let's see what do we got here. Enchanting with unspeakable gaming. Okay, let's see what we got. Uh, sharpness. We got sharpness one, knockback one, unbreaking. Pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. All right. So let's head over here. Let's see what we got. I think this is the kitchen area. Oh. I hear something going off like crazy. I don't know what I did. I don't know what I did. Oh, this is the kitchen. Okay. This is the light. Can I turn off? Oh, I can turn off all the lights. That's so sick. And then you can turn off the kitchen lights. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. I can turn off all the lights for the property. I did not expect that to happen. All right. What is that crazy thing that's beeping like crazy? I don't know what that is. There's some chest over here. Bunch of, I guess these are trophies. This is the table. Got something going on under, under here. What is this? Oh, this goes to the backyard. Okay, we'll we'll check this out later. I want to go to the kitchen first and check out this stuff over here. All right, we got oh we got some crazy stuff going over here. Okay, so this is water. Fills it up with water. Nice. And then what is this? Throw raw items onto the stove. Collect items here. So ooh, so it like smelts items. So let's go ahead and head over into creative mode and let's grab some raw like I don't know fish or something. Let's grab like a stack of raw chicken and let's throw this into the stove. There we go. Oh, snap. All right, we're going to throw this all into the stove. 
and then we'll come back and see how much it is smelted. Let's see. Hasn't smelted any yet. Let's go ahead and take this chicken out. Oh, there it goes. Look, two already, two. That's pretty quick. That's pretty gosh dang quick. We'll come back and see how long it takes to smell all that stuff. But then over here, we have a couple more chests, a couple more furnaces. Pretty nice. Lots of other chests, lots of other stuff. And this is a rubbish bin. So this is your trash bin. So let's say we don't want all this cooked chicken. You know, we cooked too much. It's going to take it. And it's going to slowly dispense it and just throw it in the trash and burn it. So, let's see how much stuff, let's see how much chicken we got smelted so far. Oh, we got six and two. So, we've got eight pieces so far. That's pretty good. I cannot stand this ticking. It's giving me a headache. Make it stop. Well, isn't that something? That's interesting. But, there's also a downstairs and an upstairs area. We're going to head upstairs first, and then we'll head downstairs. I have no idea what's in store for upstairs or down. Wow, this is so nice. The amount of detail that's gone to this house is absolutely incredible. We also have another light switch where we can turn off all the lights. We're not going to do that, though, because we need to leave the lights on for now. This one is definitely no point in these levers. What are these levels for? Waterfall. Mini. Huh, so I guess it's like a waterfall on the other side of the house. I don't know, we'll have to check that out later. But this is the second lounge. My gosh, this is literally a mansion, guys. Okay, so what is this over here? Can those levers open the bookshelf? It's worth a try. Oh, that's what it was supposed to do. It was supposed to open this. And you got two golden apples in here. So wait, if we close off these le levers, if we close off the le Oh, it closes the bookshelf. Check that out. Okay, so it's kind of like a secret door. So if I were to remove these signs, you know, obviously if I lived there, I would remove these signs. And that would be like a kind of secret entrance. So that's pretty, pretty sick. Okay, so this is a nice little entertainment setup. Then we got a lot of rooms over here. Actually, these are not rooms. These are balconies. Sorry. <laughs> I thought they were rooms. They are all balconies that lead outside. Yep. Wow. There's a ton of balconies. When they said Redstone Mansion, they literally meant mansion, my dude. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different balconies that I can see. And there's probably more on the back side of the house, too. Like, are these balconies, too? Oh, my gosh. Seven, I mean, eight, nine. Then we got probably more balconies on the other side. Jeez, there's so many balconies in here, but let's see where the master bedroom is. Yep, there it is, master bedroom. <laughs> All right, so we got, man, eight beds. Oh my gosh, an eight bed master bedroom, or maybe it's just one giant bed, I don't know. And then we got another balcony over here. Don't think those do anything. Um, then we got another balcony, jeez. Um, and then we got light switch as well. So not too much redstone stuff in the master bedroom, but then again, there's not much you can do because all the other redstone stuff is pretty much in the other rooms. Then we got the master bath, which is pretty nice. Oh my gosh. Turn on the shower there. That is beautiful. Nice little toilet. Um, not sure what the point of this is, but maybe it's like a little changing area, I guess. And then we got a chest in here with some toilet paper, of course. <laughs> and then a towel rack, nice little cacti plant to, uh, you know, set the mood, I, I, I guess. I, 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 I don't know. But geez, is this house absolutely beautiful? It's not only a redstone house, but the amount of detail that has gone into this house is just perfect. What is this? Oh my gosh. Need XP? Hit three mobs. So this is like an XP farm. We're currently on peaceful mode, so there's not any mobs spawning. But let's see if we can change the difficulty. All right, just change it to easy. There we go. Hit three mobs. One, two, three. I think we have to hit three different mobs. What is this? Oh, snap. Easy XP. Okay, hit three mobs. Need XP down here. What is this? I don't even know what this is. Okay, this is like a combination lock. Can you guess the combination? So I guess it's X, 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 X. Is that right? Woo, look at that. Oh, snap. What do we got down here? This is a portal secret storage. Psst, don't go into the closet and shut the door. Oh, I think he's saying that because there's another secret room. Oh my gosh. Look at this. This guy be hiding stuff all over the place. So this is a light switch we got over here and the beautiful, beautiful dragon egg. Now we have crafting. What is this? Oh my gosh. Does this house ever end? Jeez. Fall down the hole. Oh my gosh. So this is a crap. Wow. I did not expect this house to go this crazy. Like, holy moly. So this is a massive crafting area. Watch for hidden switches. The crafting table and furnace somewhere in here. Industrial furnace this way. Okay, so this is base. What's this? Okay, so there's a furnace and a crafting table right there. That's pretty nice. And then this over here. I'm not sure exactly what this is. I think this stuff is just for show. 
Another switch. There's a chest right there. What is this behind this? What is oh it's just some redstone. Okay. Um wow. This is sick. This is so awesome. So it's a massive chest room. I don't think there's anything in inside of any of these chests, but pretty sick room, industrial furnace. Oh my gosh. Does this house ever end? Put raw items in the chest. Okay, so let's put some raw items in the chest. We'll just throw all of our raw items in the chest. It's gonna take us through this system and smelt them through these furnaces and then blocks of coal. Oh my gosh, there's so many blocks of coal in there. All these items when they're done smelting will end up in some of these chests. So you have all these items just covered and stuff. So that is flipping sick. It's like an industrial smelting system. So if the one in the kitchen upstairs doesn't work, you know, you got this massive industrial one. That is so, so awesome. What is this over here in the corner? Oh, another light switch. Okay, so bunch of light switches, but let's go ahead and head out of here. Press the button and step on the platform to go up. Oh my gosh, what just happened? What the flip was that? And then on the other side of this, we have brewing. So that was crafting and storage. This is brewing. So let's see what we got for the brewing section of this place. Secret passage, vault, one, six, eight, close, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so the combination, I guess, is one, six, and then eight. It opened it up. Okay open close so there's two buttons right there we can close it or actually let's close it close this it's gonna close the door oh my gosh this is so flipping sick okay put water bottles in here and select what potion you want to make okay so let's select some water bottles put the water bottles into here so we got one two three water bottles and then over here we have to select the items that we want there's like a what does this one do Oh, it's like a secret chest. Oh, look at that. There's secret potions. Look at that. Whenever I step on this one, it gives me a secret chest right there. Okay, but we have to select our stuff. So let's select, I don't know, the, uh, the glistering melons. Let's select some glistering melons. So I guess it's going to smelt the items. Oh, that's what it does. So you select that. It smelts the potions, and then the potions end up in this chest right here when they're done smelting. So let's see if they're actually smelting, are they? Oh, they are smelting. Look at that. There's a glistering melon in there. Once it's done smelting, it's probably going to take it out and then put it in that chest right there. That is so sick. All right. So that's pretty much the brewing room. Such an awesome room. Let's head down here, and let's go ahead and open up the secret door. And then we pretty much, you know, we covered all that. That was the secret kind of vault. And then let's head out of here. Wow, that was so sick. I did not expect any of this stuff to be down here. Look, then we close this all. Oh, look at that. It's like, you can go this way. We can go this way. Oh my gosh, that is so flipping cool. Oh, I almost walked into the portal. We can actually turn the portal on and off if you guys want. That's pretty sick. But let's go ahead and head up here. We still got so much stuff to cover, guys. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so you can hit all the mobs here. And, you know, get some easy XP. Or you can get the actual easy XP. You know, just like that. Totally up to you. Click for OP sword. Down here. What is this? Oh, snap. Oh, I put it back. Yo, check this out. Oh, my gosh. We got an OP one-hit sword. Oh, snap. That is so sick. Okay. All right. We've covered everything down here. We still have more stuff to cover, guys. So much more stuff to cover. Um, Actually... Well, we don't have anything else to cover in this house, but we still have like the crazy XP farm in the backyard and stuff. So let's go check that out right now. So let's go out here. Oh, it's raining and it's dark. No, I do not accept rainy, dark weather. We must have light. Ah, there we go. Over here, we have a beautiful pool. We also have a lever over here. What does this do? Lights. Pool lights? Oh, you can turn on and off the pool lights. I love all the light switches. That's so cool. Because a lot of redstone houses that I normally tour, um, lots of the lights, you can't turn them off. They're just there, and you just got to deal with them. But I love that this house, you can turn off all the lights. We've got a beautiful volleyball net over here as well. But let's head over to the automatic farming. Oh, wait, what is this? Let's first check out this. Then let's head over to the automatic farm. Oh, is this the dog? Oh, my gosh. We got a dog. We got a flipping dog. Hello. Do you play Minecraft? Okay, so we got a little dog house. Wow. See that dog house back there? That's the size of my first Minecraft house. And, you know, started from the bottom. Now we got a massive mansion. All right, let's close the door there. Close the gate. Let's head over to the massive, I think it's a fully automatic mob. Not a mob farm, a just a normal farm. 
Uh, so we don't know how sick this is going to be, but it looks like I'm already seeing we got wheat, potatoes, we got the cocoa beans, we got everything you can imagine. Oh, this is sick. So that's what that sound was going off. So this is a completely automatic farm. So here we have melons and pumpkins. They, oh, so these are the seeds. And then I guess they end up in a chest somewhere else. Well, actually, I don't think these are automatic. Oh, yeah, it says right here, manual. So these are manual. So manual pumpkin and melon farm. So you got to go in here and do all the, uh, all the dirty work on these. So these are not automatic. This one over here, potato farm. Push button to get rid of water. Push button wants to farm potatoes. So you push the button and it farms all the potatoes. And then I guess they end up all in this chest. Yes, yeah, so you can see them stacking right there. 21, 22, you can see them all stacking. And then over here, the wheat one is the same thing. Press the button. So pretty much all these farms are semi-automatic. You know, they're not fully automatic because fully automatic is like you plant the seeds and then you never have to touch it again and it, you know, keeps regenerating all the stuff. But this one's fully fully automatic and you could collect these from the chest as well i'm assuming pretty much all these farms work the same way so yeah they all work the same way all collect them from the chest pretty pretty simple concept oh that is sick and then the sugarcane one this one is actually fully automatic this is a fully automatic sugarcane farm so these up here are observer blocks i believe oh uh, yeah so these are observer blocks and whenever the sugarcane grows to three blocks high it triggers that block right there and it breaks it so I think, let me go into game mode one here. So if I put a piece of sugar cane right here, oh, look at that, see? Okay, so if I put all the sugar cane, and then boom, see, look, it automatically breaks it, and it falls into the hoppers right there, and then ends up in this chest. You can see it, you know, stacking up all the stuff. That is so insane. That is so sick. So that's the full farming system. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful farming system. Honestly, everything you need, and then this massive mansion on the other side, you also have a beautiful village right next to the mansion as well. So, absolutely beautiful house, guys. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys want to see more redstone creations, because I know I do a lot of redstone creations on my main channel. But if you guys want to see more on the Pocket Edition channel, because I don't do very much on here, then let me know by leaving a like on this video. And if you guys want to see more redstone creations and you guys show a lot of support and show a lot of likes, then I'll be sure to bring those videos to you guys. So, guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And also leave a comment in the comment section below. What is your favorite redstone house? Question of the day. What is your favorite redstone house? Can be on Pocket Edition or PC Edition, whatever. What is your favorite redstone house and who made it? Guys, thank you all so much for watching. Have a safe and fantastic rest of your day. Be sure to subscribe so you see tomorrow's video. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow in a brand new Minecraft video.